in this video we will discuss about molar pregnancy this one also called as hida dd form mole hida dd form mole or molar pregnancy it is a type of benign gestational trophoblastic disease there are group of diseases that occur in connection with any uh, gestational event broadly divided into three groups they can be benign or gestational trophoblastic disease that include uh, this one is the uh, solid form or molar pregnancy second one is persistent or residual mole this one a third one is uh, choriocarcinoma the benign bol, uh, molar pregnancy is further divided into complete mole or partial mole a second one is persistent or residual mole uh, they have invasive and placental uh, trophoblastic disease third one is choriocarcinoma further uh, can be metastatic and non metastatic so this invasive and this placental trophoblastic disease these two persistent uh, this one these two are um, invade that myometrium they invade myometrium and in some cases hydatidity form uh, afrim a mole erode that myometrium erode that myometrium uh, the and hydatidity form is invaded it is also known as uh, invasive mole this one is the invasive mole here some of the risk factor for the development of hydatidity form first one is extreme age uh, extreme age that woman is very young less than 20 or more than 40 then second one is consumption of oral contraceptive then uh, that geographical and the environmental influence because of that prevalence of this this disease higher uh, in eastern countries and comparing to western countries then vitamin a beta carotene and folic acid deficiency in diet also make women this prone if a woman has some history of molar pregnancy then there are 2 to 10 percentage that again uh, then subsequent pregnancy will be molar in that woman now coming to classification under pathogenesis there are two form of disease either it can be complete mole or it can be partial mole the whole abnormalities lies in abnormal uh, fertilization because of that abnormal fertilization that is where we have abnormal placental growth and a development of molar pregnancy now in uh, complete mole uh, what happened is here we have ovum so here we have ovum, ovum. Uh, here this uh, this is not normal because that ovum without nucleus here a nucleus is absent so we have our nuclei uh, this one is the uh, without nu nucleus so here sperm is presented 23 x sperm here so here fusion this one is the abnormal one here fusion will happen fusion will causes uh, duplication of sperm and producing 40 x x in this one 40 x uh, chromosome pattern here produce 46 x chromosome pattern here totally of that parental totally of parental origin because this maternal ovum uh, didn't uh, don't have any nucleus so were not any genetic material was not there so here 
maternal genetic material is not there so due to this abnormal fertilization placenta formed is also abnormal there is increased proliferation of trophoblastic cell so what will happen due to abnormal fertilization placenta formed is also abnormal there is increasing proliferation of trophoblastic cell uh, especially syn cystotrophoblast so here uh, proliferation of trophoblastic cell mainly syn cystotrophoblast and this syn cystotrophoblast secrete beta hcg uh, there will be very very high level of beta hcg there will be also high level of lh fsh and tsh of that a subunit of a beta hcg uh, match these hormones so when or we have high production of beta scg they will also high production of lh fsh and tsh so whenever high level of beta hcg cg high level of lh fsh and tsh and anatomically complete more Uh, resembles here yeah, this one okay resembles like here yeah, punjab grapes uh, that are purely white vesicles uh, purely white vesicles containing watery fluid within this there will be purely white vesicles that resemble like here yeah, punjab grapes uh, with the small stalks stalks they will fill that uterus they containing watery fluid because of high troughing because of high uh, troughing degenerations that's why undergo now in this case we don't have any fetus we don't have any fetus um, then amniotic shock and placenta all three structure is absent so here we cannot find out fetus amniotic shock and placenta all the three things absent uh, but that villus structure present and a complete mole has a very high risk of development of malignancy so now in contrast to complete that complete mole in that partial mole what we have in that ovum here here this ovum is the normal containing 23 expanded chromosome but in fertilization with two coming sperm so two uh, sperms now this sperm either carry 23 xy or 20 okay 23 xy and 23 xy that fusion of that sperm and ovum uh, will producing triploid there will be 69 x x y or um 69 x x x or 69 x y y the most common one is 69 x x y again here in a partial mole there is abnormal in placenta but here what is the difference is that uh, we have a focal uh, hydrophobic regeneration as comparing to complete hydrophobic regeneration as compared to complete more where complete mole we had to diffuse a hydrophobic regeneration higher trophoblastic hyperplasia is there but the cell that are involved there are uh, cytotrophoblast in contrast to syn cystotrophoblast that were involved in complete mole now here 
this cysto erythroblast cysto erythroblast not known to secrete any hcg so hcg level it may be normal or slightly increasing in some cases now anatomically that partial mole examples uh, this placenta has very few vesicles on that maternal surface okay there is um, identifiable fetus that will show cross malfunction the fetus will not be normal uh, will not be normal intra uterine growth retardation and intra uterine death this partial mole molar pregnancy can also occur in twin with one fetus is developing normally and another fetus into the smaller pregnancy in case of partial mole here we have low risk of malignancy now coming to clinical presentation that woman with a complete mole will present within uh, with a amenorrhea amenorrhea of less than uh, 24 weeks gestation amenorrhea that means absence of menstruation less than 24 weeks see how some history of vaginal bleeding or abnormal bleeding uh, abnormal bleeding pain anal bleeding will uh, causes anemia there will be passage of vesicles in case of abortion takes place the nausea vomiting that is the a symptom because of hyperemesis gravidarum in some cases pregnancy induced hypertension can also occur now that level uh, of tsh there will be increasing t3 and t4 that will cause thyrotoxicosis and will and this thyrotoxicosis here supraventricular uh, tachycardia and dyspnea also caused now in ovary because of increasing fsh and lsh there will be enlarged granulosa uh, granulosa lutein cyst uh, that will be visible now physical examination women will look pale and because of anemia and that woman can be febrile uterus can be enlarged or normal or smaller it enlarged um, uterus this one because of gestational age incomplete molar pregnancy it can be normal means uh, that height of that fundus is equal to period of uh, gestation and it can be smaller it is the partial molar cases uh, enlarged because of gestational age incomplete normal because of that height of that fundus is equal to period of gestation then smaller because of partial molar cases the consistency of that uterus is that uh, external and internal bulletment absent bulletment absent of course uh, because there is no fetus in that fetal heart sound is absent the surface cervix is soft as occur in normal pregnancy important point remember here that usually that condition leads to abortion between 3rd and 6th week of that pregnancy in case of partial mole the woman will present with less severe symptoms uh, surfo- uh, therefore it is diagnosed later than complete molar pregnancy on ultrasonography finding is done then we can find 
ஒலிகோஹைட்ரமினோஸ் தென் இன்ட்ராயூட்ரைன் க்ரோத் ரிட்டார்டேஷன் ஆர் மால் ஃபார்ம்டு ஃபீட்டர்ஸ் வில் பி சீன் பை யூசிங் திஸ் அல்ட்ராசோனோகிராஃபி ஃபார் டயக்னோசிஸ் திஸ் கண்டிஷன் ஃபஸ்ட் ஆஃப் ஆல் சீரம் பீட்டா ஹஸ் ஹச்சிஜி டு மெஷர் இஸ் வெரி இம்பார்ட்டண்ட் ஸோ இட் வில் வெரி வெரி ஹை இன் கம்ப்ளீட் மோல் அண்ட் லோ இன் பார்ஷியல் மோல் ஹை இன் கம்ப்ளீட் மோல் லோ இன் பார்ஷியல் மோல் பிகாஸ் ஆஃப் சைட்டோட்ரோஃபோஃப்ளாஸ்ட் நெக்ஸ்ட் வி சி ஹியூமன் பிளசண்டல் எலக்ட்ரோ எலக்ட்ரோஜன் ஹியூமன் பிளசண்டல் எலக்ட்ரோஜன் தட் இஸ் ஹை இன் பார்ஷியல் மோல் பட் இன் கண்ட்ரோல் இட் இஸ் வெரி லோ இன் கம்ப்ளீட் மோல் then ultrasound will show snow atrium appearance snow atrium appearance in complete mole and also we can see bilateral leudin cells the size will be more than 6 cm increasing why means because of increasing fsh and lh in partial mole mall formed fetus also swiss cheese appearance of intrauterine tissue can be seen in this ultrasonography in toppler will show fetal heart sound that is absent and definitive uh, diagnosis can be made only by pathological examination of intrauterine tissue after evaluation now for the treatment of that cases immediate suction evacuation is necessary as it done in mtp medical uh, this termination of pregnancy if woman present with the sign of ongoing abortion then we can aid that abortion process by giving uh, intravenous acetocin or intravenous methylene and then uh, digital exploration digital exploration or gentle cruitage cruitage is done to see any remnant or not blood transfusion is necessary because that woman is already anemic in rh negative woman who are periodically on unimmunized on rh um, anti d immunoglobulin can be given in older and multiferous women then hysterectomy is the molarity of treatment follow up is necessary in the case because they have high risk of development of malignancy of particular chorio carcinoma that under the development of chorio carcinoma is always um, within 2 years of that molar evacuation of molar pregnancy so uh, for at least 2 years this woman should follow out up there is Uh, no direct although there is no direct any serological test that can tell us to which woman will persist to malignancy or which not but estimation of her hcg level in serum and urine can be done to uh, in case of follow up uh, they and they normally become negative in 6 to 8 week the avoidance of pregnancy is so avoidance of pregnancy is necessary chemotherapy also advisable so this is all about molar pregnancy so three benign then residual mole and carcinocarcinoma this invasive type it will invade 
myometrium then risk factors then classification uh, then partial mode mode then uh clinical presentation clinical presentation physical examination finally uh, diagnosis and treatment thanks for watching